What's going on, everybody? And yeah, stupid right at you for another video. So, I'm finally gonna do comparison week starting right now. Talk about the title Chevy versus Ford. Now, I'm not talking car, I'm not talking SUV. I'm talking four-wheel drive pickup trucks. Now, we can't do that by a dip. So, that's my next Thursday. Oh, no. There's some good old uh, house chores, yep. Cleaned up in my room. Uh, yeah. Something's good down the farm, yep. Oh, I'm drinking um, Arizona green tea. Oh, my mom says it's healthy, so fuck it. That ain't bad. Now, see, last night I had a thing. I had a thing real quick. I was like, all right, I have two pinches left to Grizzly Street. I'm gonna cut in half. I have one now. Now I wake up, have that one, and then this video, I'm gonna crack these open. And probably when I haven't had a dip since like 8 in the morning. So, once you have yourself a dip, we'll talk about trucks. Actually, we'll talk about Chevy right now. Now, Chevy trucks, yeah, you know. They're built pretty good, you know. Some got the square bodies, but the most rugged trucks, I think, in my opinion, are the ones that are, um, you know, you got extended bed in the back, so you can haul more stuff. <laughs> Beer, right? Yeah. <laughs> and, you know, um,. Not much, great, totally. And, um, you know, now they say that Ford F 150s get like good ass gas mileage. It's like, yeah, but I'm still not gonna buy one because Ford sucks. Wanna fix a Ford? Buy a Chevy. Oh, yeah. Uh, you gotta love the smell of dip after a good old hard day work on that fam, yeah, yeah. Anybody else with a smell of Grizzly Wintergreen? I fucking love it. But, I hear you talk about dip, you're talking about trucks. Oh, the way I see it. Okay. If you guys watch football like I do, I become talking NFL football. You know, um, the majors, like, you'll see a commercial on it for Ford F-150 it says, said, uh, Ford Tough, you know, this truck. F-150 can outlast the rest. All the other trucks are dead. It's like, uh -huh. It's fucking. Hmm. Hmm. We're gonna take a five minute break. I'll be back next week. Ah. Yeah. What the. What the fuck happened there? I'm to put in that dip and next thing I know, fuck my fingers are so like, you know, that has never happened before. No, okay, I trust you on. Oh, 
Critter monitor, oh shit. Ah, can't have much of But I'll do it this way. Chevy's been in a Ford. In my opinion, I think it goes. My opinion goes Dodge, BMC, Chevy, Toyota, Ford. Yeah, that's how it goes. So, here's again Dodge. GMC, Chevy, Toyota, Ford. Those are the five trucks that are out there right now. Truck brands that are out there right now. Now, most people don't talk about, like, you know, GMC, but I fucking love GMC Sierra, dude. GMC Sierra's are fucking, you know, they're fucking built tough. There's a good truck overall, man. Been a Ford by a long shot. So Dodge motors are they're built like fucking rugged as shit. If you take a gander at uh, like how Hemi is how Hemi motors are made, I mean they're pretty fucking rugged as shit. You look at exhaust fumes, the exhaust on oh, no, I'm not fucking exhaust on the back of the truck. Oh, if you look at the valves on an engine on a Hemi. I don't know where it's going with that, but let's just say, in my opinion, and Rory will take, Rory will agree with me on this, Dodge motors will last a hell of a lot longer than the Ford motors were. Because fucking... I've never owned a Ford, but <laughs> I sure do. I want to. Like one thing you'll never see me drive is a fucking Ford. Uh -uh. I got a can I get a truck trying to be a Chevy Silverado, GMC Sierra, or Dodge Ram fifteen hundred. I did have a Dodge Ram 1500 V8 Magnum, but fucking motor gone on fire. My dad's fucking driving in there. Blew a fucking tranny. He was like, oh, dude. It was brutal, dude. That was fucking brutal. Anyways, bottom line Chevy is better than a Ford. Remember when we take a Ford out of mud and you'll get stuck in two seconds. Take a Chevy out of mud and that truck will come out and fucking mud bomb. Wow! It's fucking amazing, I'm gonna tell ya. But, yeah. Anyways, this has been Amsterdam Monday. See y'all tomorrow. Alright, bye.